Hello everyone. In this video, I want to have a look at some of the editing tools that's available to us that we can operate on solids with. So just by matter of explanation, I've discovered that I've been uh, operating in a way that isn't the most efficient when I'm dealing with something like, for instance, a hole that I've placed in a plate. So let's consider something like a like a plate and a hole in it. So what I'm quickly doing over here is just creating a extrusion or an extrusion and inside of this extrusion there is a hole that will give say a 10 mil radius. Imagine this is a little plate and then we'll just quickly press pull that out say with the 20 mil plate. So there's some of the plate of 20 mil and <coughs> we would like to move this hole somewhere else. <coughs> so until now what I've done is I've used things like for instance saying all right in this case let me just quickly go and create another cylinder in there and those of you that already know what's going on will probably go geez this guy why is he doing that and then maybe we want to move that hole 10 millimeters to the right so I would then copy that hole 10 mil to the right join the original block and cylinder and subtract The other hole from it, or the other dial. Okay, so that would be an extremely slow way of moving that hole around. But there are other options for us to use as well. So consider that this hole has a face. <coughs> if we use something like move faces and we select just the face of that hole. Notice how we can now move sorry move that face base point of displacement and we move it 10 more back to the other side and enter so that has now gone and moved that hole to that other side. Also, maybe this hole, which had a radius of 10 millimeters, should have a radius of 12. Then we can offset these faces. Let's go with minus 2. Now the hole is bigger. We want to make it smaller offset these faces again. Similarly, if the plate was too small, we want to add a little bit to it. Again, that would just be move faces. The tapering of faces, the extruding of faces, the moving of faces, the copying of faces, all of these items are available for us, but specifically these two. the offset of faces will allow you to increase or decrease the sizes of plates of holes and then the moving of those faces will also allow you a lot of leeway to manipulate some of these elements with and it really does add a lot of 
capability to our repertoire. So the tapering of a face for instance, faces that you'd like to taper, you can choose a base point, the other axis of tapering, and the taper angle. You can see a very quick, nice, easy way, and one can easily reproduce that again on this side. So a very quick and easy way to manipulate these elements. Extrude faces. If you've got something at an angle, it will come out at typically some other extrusion. You can also input an angle. Again, that's something that you can control. If you move a face, on the edge of a block that would be the same as making it smaller if you copy a face then it won't be a solid Same with offsetting of faces. Make the thing thicker. Deleting the face. Will delete the hole for you. If you have a hole that you don't need there, you can delete the face. The rotation of faces, that could be very useful as well. So if we have some other little shape. We've already subtracted from the <coughs> other element there, and we now want to go and rotate something here, either one of the faces. I'm going to increase that by 30 degrees. If you take all of them, then they'll rotate together. Okay, so there are multiple scenarios where this might be preferable to trying to work in solid geometry all the time. Let's use some of the face editing commands. There you can see how it has been rotated. Uh, nice and powerful ways for you to go and play with some solid geometry. You don't need to use the solids, just play with the faces and that should add uh, some benefit to your working with especially plates, holes, shapes in 3D. Until next time, enjoy AutoCAD!